There once was a boy that started his anime loving career back in 2014, but there was something, something that had been sitting at the back of his head for two whole months, and that is... Well shit, I haven't seen Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's true. I'd never even heard of Goku, Bulma or Krillin until last year. The whole Dragon Ball franchise or universe is somehow more confusing to me than Fate or the Monogatari series, and I can't explain it to be honest. Let's be perfectly clear here, I love shonen anime and manga. That's not even a maybe, it's a definite. But somehow Dragon Ball never really got under my radar. And now, having watched around 20-ish episodes of the original 1986 series in two days, I realized that I'd missed out on a really good show and a really iconic series in general. So let me give my opinion or first impressions on Dragon Ball, the 1986 one. Dragon Ball gets me a little weird. With this art style and animation, the graphic core in me weeps. But it's 1986 and I won't stop saying that, so I ignore that side of me and enjoy the show. And boy did I enjoy the show. Goku is a little 12 year old Hercules who lives by himself in the mountains, unaware of what girls are, let alone a bathroom. A majority of the first episode is about how Goku lives, feeds himself, takes a leak, and how he meets Bulma. After meeting her and the two of them go to his little shack, she finds the last thing Goku's grandfather, Gohan, left him, a Dragon Ball. Not that Goku knows what that is, of course. Bulma then proceeds to tell him the legend of the Dragon Balls and the Dragon Shenron, who will grant someone a wish as long as they collect all seven. Quick question, how did Bulma learn about the legend? I don't remember it being explained in detail and she seems to be pretty much knowing all about the details, so... What gives? God, this screams 80 shonen with its pacing. But surprisingly, it works fine enough. We also have Emperor Pilaf, who's on his own journey to battle the Dragon Ball so he can have the world, along with his idiot troops Mei and Shu. It's incredibly simple and I like it. As someone who finds it difficult to keep up with the entire plot of Kotecu Hitman Reborn, this was a fine enough plot in my opinion. The fight scenes obviously date the show, but that's obvious enough. They can't and don't need to look like two wild dogs biting each other's legs off. For the time Dragon Ball was made, these probably looked amazing, which isn't the case nowadays, but what can you do? It's still good. Most of the time. I also really loved how delivering milk and such made Goku and Krillin absolute beasts at the World Tournament. Speaking of which, I know everything is gonna happen there, because I played this game, might have to make a video on it actually. I want to apologize for the short video, but I actually got sick and I feel like I'm gonna faint while writing these crappy scripts. In short, Dragon Ball isn't the best shonen of all time. Far from it, but it's incredibly entertaining thanks to Toriyama's writing and all the funny things in between. After finishing it, I'm jumping straight into what I've heard is the most fan favorite, Dragon Ball Z. So thanks for watching and goodbye.